If you're one of the people who have been following the Survival on Purpose channel here for, for a while, you may remember that I used to do a lot of flashlight videos, a lot of different kind of flashlights, and I haven't done so many in the last couple of three years. And I think the uh, last one I did was probably on um, something to do with this Surefire Stiletto, which is so far my favorite flashlight ever. Um, and then today I've got another Surefire to show you. This is the Surefire Sidekick. And what I thought we'd do in today's video is uh, real briefly tell you why I don't do as many flashlight reviews anymore and why I went back not too long ago and actually deleted several older flashlight videos, um, got rid of them. And then we'll talk about a little bit about this sidekick and why I think it's such a cool little flashlight and I'm already falling in love with it. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. As I said in today's video, we're going to talk about flashlights, why I haven't done as many flashlight videos uh, in the last couple of years as I used to do, why I actually went back and deleted a whole bunch of flashlight videos very recently, and why I think uh, my Surefire flashlights are my favorite, and we're going to take a quick look at this new Surefire sidekick it's not new to them but it's new to me i just bought this about a week and a half a couple weeks ago and i've already fallen in love with it and we're going to do all that but first i got to say a big thank you to the folks at hog holsters for sponsoring today's video hog holster stands for helping americans wear guns and just like surefire hog holsters are 100 percent made in the usa down to the screws that hold the clip on um, my hog holster here that i'm wearing every and have worn every single day for quite a, a few years now uh, features the ulti clip and this is from a glock 19 which is with the ever ever cool looking carbon fiber this thing has been through, just recently, through a uh, tactical response fighting pistol class, roll around on the ground, been through several several classes, roll around on the ground, and it's absolutely serves me well. Has zero problems with retention of the pistol in the holster or the holster to my pants. I'm telling you, John at Hog Holsters has got it figured out. He makes the most comfortable, most concealable concealed carry holster I've ever used, and I gotta say a big thank you to him. And if you, if you wanna save 10% on any order at Hog Holsters, over 30 bucks, you can use the coupon code survival on purpose, all one word, at checkout. Tell John I said hello. So let's talk about flashlights. Now, like I said, if you've been watching the channel, following the channel for, for a few years, you know that I used to do a lot of flashlight videos. I did a lot of through night videos. I did a lot of O light videos and many other flashlight videos along the way. And I kind of backed off from that recently. Um, I've got some talks to some other people. I might do some more flashlight videos for them. But I just wanted to kind of tell you why I did that. I actually went back recently and, and, and deleted a bunch of Olight videos. And before you get, get your feelings hurt about that, I, I don't have anything against Olight. I think Olight makes great utility flashlights, just flashlights that you can use. But I kind of got turned off by Olight for a couple of reasons. And not turned off by them, but, but I kind of decided to kind of back off from them for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, they were putting out uh, these sales every single month. They would have a flash sale, and they would send out flashlights to everybody that had a YouTube channel, I think. Everybody with a pulse. I don't know how many thousands of flashlights they sent out. But so the, the Internet was flooded with videos about their flash sale. And I, so I would make one, and it would get you know 150 views, and, and 70 of the comments on the views would be complaints about too many Olight videos. So that was reason number one. Reason number two for me, and the reason I went back and deleted a bunch of videos is because Olight started making gun lights. And I did some videos on those gun lights back when I really wasn't, didn't really know what I was, I didn't know what I didn't know. And, um, but, I, but I started realizing that um, nobody that really seriously carries a gun professionally carries Olight. You know what they carry? They carry, for the most part, Surefire. And... The people that I really respect, and James Yeager is one of them, said if he's gonna, if you're gonna put something that you, you it's gonna depend your life on. Your life is gonna, gonna be dependent upon that flashlight working. It needs to be a Surefire. So, I took that to heart, and I, I've got Surefire lights on all my weapons that have lights on them. On my rifle, I got Surefire lights on them. They're not cheap, no doubt about it. They are more expensive than O lights, um, but they're also made in the USA, and they're also 
they, they, they've stood the test of time. They're just high quality lights. So uh, I thought, you know what, if I'm going to, if I'm going to trust my life to something, this is not necessarily the, the, the thing you want to skimp on. Now, if it's just a flashlight to carry around and use utility, man, I think Olight makes great flashlights. I'm not, hear me, I'm not dogging out Olight, but when it comes to weapon lights, I've tried to draw a line between you know, utility lights and weapon lights. And so for weapon lights, I'm going with Surefire. For utility lights, whatever works, works. But for me, as I've said before, this Surefire Stiletto is just so far, so far it's my favorite utility light ever because it is flat and it fits in my pocket really well and it doesn't, um, doesn't make a big hump. It's, it's, it's like half the diameter of a round light and it just, it's made to go in your pocket and it, and it works fine. And it's got three levels. Uh, let's see what the levels are. Just as a quick, a quick recap, it has uh, five lumens low, then it has 250, and it has 5, 250, and 650. And it also has a tail cap, which I like that for just tactical use. You can pop it on. So the other thing I like about Surefire is they hit the, their beam, they call it a max beam. It's just a really wide spread, broad, even light. There's not a, there's not a hot spot in the middle. So th th this light and this little one is not really designed to be a focal you know, thrower. Um, they, may, they have some that are, but these aren't. But for utility light and all around light, that's really what I prefer because that hot spot sometimes it really almost blinds you when everything else is, is, is um, you're trying to see around in the area. So anyway, that being said, this, this stiletto is somewhere just north of a hundred bucks. Uh, and I bought a couple of them because I've lost, I've lost one <laughs> and I broke one. It was my fault. So I didn't even try to send it back. I guess I, they probably would have warranted it, but it was my fault. So I didn't, I didn't think it was right to try to ask them to warranty my screw up. <clears throat> so, Recently, I was buying the stiletto from the one that I screwed up, and I saw this on, on Amazon. Uh, yeah, I bought them on Amazon, I know. And it was like 20, 27 bucks or something like that. And it's a Surefire for 27 bucks. I got to check this thing out, right? And I did, and I got to say, I really like it. I mean, look at this little thing. It is about the size, maybe, of a, of a Slim Zippo. You know, the old Zippo. If you know what a Slim Zippo is, here's a little... A little big, okay, a small big. That's how they compare in size. So if you put it in front of it, it's barely, it's it's about, if I can get that where you can see it. Uh, can you see, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you see that? It's just a little bit bigger than a, than a slim big. In fact, a mini big. Um, the dimensions of this thing are two and a half inches long by about, I'm going to say it is about, inch and a quarter, maybe inch, inch, inch and three eighths wide. And it is uh, just over a, right at a half inch thick. The bezel diameter is 0.58 inches. And the weight on this thing is just 1.2 ounces. It has five lumen, 60 lumen and 300 lumen uh, selector on it. 1100 can, can, candelera, candela, can, 1100 candela, I'm sorry. And uh, it runs for uh, four, 45, hours, hours on low, four hours on medium, and one and a quarter hours on 300 lumens. And before you tell me it's only an hour and a quarter on 300 lumens, look, seriously, are you going to use this for, uh, for an hour and a quarter solid of 300 lumens? And then when you do run out of juice, it's got a little a little charger right there, use, use, and it comes with a charger. It also comes with this keychain thing and this little really well-made little carabiner here to clip it on stuff if you want to clip it on. Um, I'll probably take all that off and just put it in my pocket, but that's how I roll. The way this thing works is it's got a three, you push the button one time, it comes to low, it's five lumens, and then the next one is, what did I say it was, 60 lumens? Yes, 60 lumens. So one time is five, and if you wait a second and you turn it, again, it's just going to go off, but if you hit, click it twice, it goes to 60, and then turn it off. Oh, okay, and then click it three times, it goes to 300. Ooh, pretty bright. And if you want it to default to bright first, you can just you can plug it into your charger and, and, and program that. Just you make a couple of clicks and you change it so it'll default to the different order, which is pretty cool. Um, but I just like that it's very lightweight, made in the USA, which is really good, and it's under thirty bucks, which is also really good. Now I have been carrying this and and this is this is an o light and i gotta say i like this o light i've been carrying this little o light um 
IR2, I think it is, EOS, which is a little micro rechargeable. Um, and it's pretty good, but it runs out of it runs out of juice pretty quick. And it's only like a hundred, it's like a hundred, maybe a hundred and something lumens. There's the brightest on that, and here's the brightest on this. Ooh. So this is a lot brighter. Um, and, it's, and it's also, to be fair, a lot bigger, but it's also flat, so it stays in your pocket pretty well. So I like to have at least a couple of lights on me at all times because I don't know. As you get older, you need more light. So anyway, that being said, I think what I'm going to try to do, and I never had luck with this. This is another reason I kind of backed off on the flashlight videos because I didn't have any luck really trying to record that with my camera because it kind of compensates for light and stuff like that because I got a cheap camera. And um, so I really can't tell from the video how well something's doing. But I'm going to try just for you to show you what this... Um, Surefire sidekick will do, and we'll try to compare it to the uh, to the stiletto just give to give you an idea, and, um, and then we'll come back and wrap this thing up. Okay, here we are at the Survival and Purpose Outdoor Studio, and we're going to show you the stiletto first. So this is five lumens, and can't really see anything. Uh, maybe see the hint of some trees out there near the balance orientation rotation device, which is 25 yards away. So now we'll go to the uh, 250 lumens and you're starting to see a little bit more definition out there. I don't know why it looks blue on my screen, but um, that's, what, that's what we got right now. And then we'll go to the uh, 650 lumens and there it is, that's the stiletto. Let's take a look at the sidekick. And there's five lumens with the sidekick and of course you can't see anything. Uh, we'll go to the 60 lumens and you still can't really see anything, uh, maybe barely see anything. Now we'll go to 300 lumens. And there's 300 lumens. And I'm telling you, it lights up a lot better in the real world than it does on camera. But that's the best I can do for you here. So it's still a little bit of a closer in uh, comparison and we'll wrap this outside part up. Okay, so here we are again with the stiletto. Five lumens and the uh, virtual green screen back there <laughs> is uh, about 10 feet from the camera. So that's five lumens. And that is the 250 lumens. And then that is the 650 lumens. So one more time, five, 250, 650. Now let's take a look at the sidekick. This is the five lumens. Not quite as bright as the other five, didn't seem like. Maybe it's a little bit smaller bezel. In the uh, 60 lumens, there's the 60 lumens for close up, and then 300 lumens. There's 300. So, again, five, 60, 300. There you go. Okay, so what do you think? Um, like I said, the camera did not seem to pick it up as well as I think it should, but I tried to give you some long range shots and a couple of close range shots just to give you an idea. But I gotta say, um, this thing for me is absolutely great. I like the, the, the ergonomics of it, the little push button. I can just push it on here and it comes up and it's, um, it's bright enough to really help me do what I need to do. And 300 lumens is nothing to slouch at. Man, I can remember when, when 60, lumen, 60 lumens was wow, smack daddy, the bomb. And now 300 lumens, everybody's like, there's only 300 lumens, look. Uh, you shine that, look, you shine that 300 lumens in your eyes and you're going to get somebody's attention. So anyway, uh, that is the uh, Surefire Sidekick. I hope this has answered some questions. I've had people ask me about, about um, different flashlight stuff. And again, again, let me say it one more time. I am not trashing uh, Olight. I think Olight is a good company. They're good folks. I've met the folks from China uh, that, they're, that are the owners of Olight and the, and the president. Good people. They're good. They may be Chinese, but they're good people just like you and me. There's good people all over the world. I've met the people here in the USA. Their, their headquarters, the U.S. headquarters is not too far from my house. Good people at Olight, and they make a good product. But, but here's the big thing. I cannot in good conscience recommend uh, a gun light, uh, something that's going to be used to p potentially defend you and your family's life that I wouldn't use myself, and I don't use them. I use Surefire. I'm just being honest with you. So, um, And I'm re also really being honest that I think this is a really good little light for under 30 bucks, and I like like the fact that it's made in the USA. So, Anyway, I'll shut up now. I really hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.